So we were going through the attic the other day and we found my stepdad's Laserdisc collection. And here it is. Uh, this is his old Laserdisc collection. He doesn't really need it anymore and it's, he doesn't think it's worth much. So he sort of just said I could have it, which was very nice of him. Uh, I said thank you and I took it on. Um, if you are watching this, you probably know what a Laserdisc is. So I won't go into too much detail. There's plenty of videos if you don't know what it is as well. But basically, it's an old video format from, uh, I think, 1978 when it's, it first came out. And it pursued on to like the very early 2000s before dying off completely. Uh, it's quite an interesting format. It's basically analog video on a disc. It's a 12-inch disc like a vinyl record. And it's read with a laser, which is kind of cool uh, if you've not seen this before um it's not great quality it's sort of better than uh, a vhs and worse than a dvd uh but of course dvd came out i think 1997 so once that came out this basically his days were properly numbered the reason i decided to sort of take these on is i find old formats kind of interesting mostly audio formats but sometimes film formats um I never had laser discs. I, I was born ninety seven, so they were pretty much dying, or if not dead already, uh, by then. But we did have some VHS tapes in the house uh, when I was younger. But we start obviously slowly got rid of those and replaced them with DVDs. Some of these films I have seen before on other formats, uh, like Terminator Two, Judgment Day. I have seen before many times. There were other films that I hadn't seen before, like Clash of the Titans, and there were a few on here which I'm not really interested in watching. Uh, Hellraiser, I'm not a massive horror fan. There are some films I do like, but <laughs> I I'm not a big fan of excessive gore and shit like that. It's just not my cup of tea. And that brings me on to the uh, reason why I'm making this video. I've got a couple of unopened ones here. I thought it might be interesting just to open these up. They haven't been opened since they were released. So this one here, Independence Day, uh, let's see, 1996, so around about then, uh, that's the only date I can see on this one, so I'm assuming it's from 96, and John Woo, Just Heroes, uh, which is from, dun, 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 dun. oh, 96 as well, 96 was obviously a good year for Laserdisc, maybe, I don't know, um, this one I'm less excited to open because it's just a single sleeve, but this is a gatefold, so it might be quite interesting to look at the art inside. But I also wanted to see maybe what condition the discs are in. Presumably, they should still be in decent condition, uh, having been wrapped up all these years. But you never know. <laughs> they, these could be stored in like the worst environment possible. They could be ridden with disc rot and such. So I don't know. Um, before I do that, I thought I'd may as well do a quick video just showing you the Laserdisc player. Here it is here, it's the Pioneer CLD-S315. Uh, I haven't got the remote control for it, I'll have to get one of those online. I have seen a few, although they're in the US, so they might be a bit expensive to get over here. Um, uh, yeah, there's not really much to say about it. It's a player, it plays CDs and Laserdiscs. It's a PAL NTSC dual player has a CX decoding, which you'll have to look that up, because I don't really know much about that. And it just connects up via a SCART to my TV, which I unplug when I'm using it as a CD player, because it annoyingly automatically switches to the SCART signal when I turn it on. So <laughs> that just sits there very clunkily like that. So anyway, I'm going to open these up now. I'll start with John Woo, uh, because I want to save the gatefold. I think that might be more interesting to look at. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to think the best way to sort of go at this way. <laughs> there are probably, probably someone like watching this who's just screaming at the way I'm opening this. But... Oh, no, I'm just cutting into the back. <laughs> right, plastic has come off now. Now that I've figured out how I'm going to cut this without breaking the actual disc or something. There, there we go. Packaging gone. Okay. John Woo. Just Heroes. Let's see this disc. Anything inside? Uh, nope. Nope. 
And yeah, oh, it's got a nice uh, printed label. That's something that seems to be a bit less common uh, than uh, just a standard label. Mind you, uh, records. I don't think you really saw a lot of records with custom labels, did you? Hmm. I don't know. And uh, as expected, I mean, that is in pristine condition. Uh, I've probably just completely devalued it by opening it, but hey ho, I'm not collecting these as a way to make money in the future. I'm collecting them because I want to, and it's just a bit of fun. Uh, and quite cheap as well, compared to records. Compared to old records, these things seem to go for quite cheap. Well, you can see me. Hello. Uh, <laughs> so shiny. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's not very interesting, as I said. It's, it's not. It's just a regular sleeve, and it's, you know. However, on to Independence Day. This is the one I wanted to open because uh, it's got a gatefold, so it might have some nice artwork on the inside. Okay, here we are, Independence Day. And yeah, on the inside, really nice gatefold sleeve there. Try and get it all in frame, but it's kind of difficult. But yeah, this is the thing about uh, laser discs that I think intrigued me the most. It's like vinyl. If you get a really nice one, it isn't like the nicest laser disc, but if you get one like this, a gatefold sleeve, they can just put all this nice artwork inside. They can put information, blurbs, and you've got a chap section here as well. Um, which is, well, tells you what chapters are on the disc and what you can skip to. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's nice. It's nice. And because it's brand new, pretty much, uh, it's in very good condition, and presumably the discs will. I do, part of me was kind of hoping that one of these discs would just be completely rotted, uh, because it would be kind of funny, but... No, these discs should be in like pretty much pristine condition. Look at that. Look at that shiny face. Look at me in that. Look at look, look at this. Look at this dude. <laughs> look at this. Look at this dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's in good condition as predicted it would be. Just check the other disc as well. Yeah, oh, a few little scuff marks on there. If you can see by my finger, there, there's a bit of a little scuff mark. Very tiny. I'm sure it won't really do anything to affect it, but... And I think this is one of those one-sided... Uh, yep, yeah, no information encoded on this side. I was actually wondering about these. If I touch this side, is that going to damage the other side? Uh, obviously, I'm not... <laughs> I don't know really so if someone who knows about this kind of stuff would tell me if this would damage the other side if i touch this blank side i presumably it wouldn't but i don't want to be wrong about that so i hope you found that mildly interesting uh as interesting as opening some old laser discs that are worth nothing uh can be um i might do some more videos like this in the future if i've got some vinyl to open, or if I get some unsealed one, uh, uh, unsealed, <laughs> unsealed, if I get some sealed versions of laser discs, maybe I'll do an unboxing video just for a bit of a laugh and to completely devalue any value that the laser disc holds. But yeah, if you do enjoy this, obviously subscribe and all that jazz, and uh, I'll see you guys later. That's not a knife. That's a knife.